all right what is up youtube so today i'm going to be showcasing my tier list for the june 2023 format a lot has changed with the format a lot has not changed with the format we're still going to probably see some cast hero builds be at the top we're still going to see some runic builds be at the top because runic uh was kind of bad because of super heavy samurais and you just needed a lot of hand traps and you know runic you know couldn't play that many hand traps so we're kind of seeing some more meta ships uh in the meta so let's just go right into it let's start with uh sun avalon Rekka. this deck is still really good it has one card starters it could play a decent amount of going second cards a lot of people just don't know how to handship the deck though it's going to be like a really good tier two deck next deck is uh the tree of runic this deck lost a lot of its power with the uh sega tree going to one so like that power play of just going runic spell uh, summon Hugin, Hugin discard, uh, Sacred Tree, and then, you know, get your field spell, Sacred Tree effect, get to, like, an interior card, and like, just, like, pop off, but now, now you don't have that as consistent as possible, like, it's just, I don't know, this deck kind of just sucks now, I don't think it's, like, terrible, but it's, it's just not what it was before, uh, Tropicate Sprite, it's, like, a decent deck, I mean, it's, it's a rogue pick, um, the deck still puts up a decent board of like Apollos or IP um, with materials on board with the uh, Ancient uh, Warrior Link and like Sprite Carrot or Red and you have Revolt still. So like the deck is still pretty solid. It plays through hand traps. It can play a decent amount of hand traps or going second cards. But I just don't think it's great. Like the board it puts up is like really beatable, especially with something like Cash Tier, like just normal summon Fenrir, attack over something activate the effect bet out something like you just have a lot and then it just kind of folds sometimes like one hand trap because sometimes you just don't draw blue sometimes you just don't draw like your starters and yeah it's just not really that great um eldritch i think it's like a solid like tier three deck a lot of people just don't respect trap decks and therefore you just you know set rivalry tc boost you know skill drain goes and match like all these like floodgates they're just like crazy powerful um and then like games two and three you could side into stuff like judgment and you know all these other cards that just stop stuff like lightning storm and uh, harpy's feather dust that are destroying you so this deck can be very solid i just don't think it's like that great it's like a really really strong uh counter pick same thing with something like uh, Dynamorphia. I think this is like a very solid uh, counterpick deck to where like if you don't respect the deck and if you don't like expect the deck and you don't uh, side for the deck, it's definitely going to destroy you. Like it's going to be very, very strong against you. Um, next up, uh, let's just go through like the worst decks. Like I just don't think this deck, this, this let them cook deck, it, it's just like not good. Spiral, I tried it out for like two or three duels it's just not really good you like need machine dupe to play this deck like other than that you don't have like multiple ways to get to resources like you don't have master plan that you can loop over and over and over again you get, like quick fix is like much harder to loop so like you just need machine dupe to get to those three quick fix and then like constantly loop them so i just don't think uh spiral is gonna be good unless like someone finds out some insane one card combo that because that's the thing like this deck is still like a two card combo deck in like a format where like all these decks you set up one card combo so it's just not that good um block wings i think it's like pretty decent uh this dinos deck i, I just don't know like dinos in general are just kind of like rogue they're like whatever maybe even trashed here i, I just don't know like i just put it in a rogue because i just don't know it has a lot of potential but i just don't think it's like that great um, Exorcist is trash. This deck is just not good. It has no good matchups against like any of the decks. Scareclaw is like a decent like rogue pick, I guess. It's just it's just not that great. Uh, Zephyr Yang Zing. It's just like it's like a deck from the past, but it just hasn't really got anything. If anything, it lost like Electromite and stuff like that. So it's just overall not great, especially because it lost Hulk. Hulk is another big hit. Like this deck is just. I honestly would just want to put it in trash tier. It's kind of just bad. Uh, Metadome, a Yang Zing. It's like pretty cute. It's like a cute deck. It's like it's like one of those just combo decks. Like if you, you go first, you can just win, and then going second, like you just lose because you just don't have that many going second cards, and like the Yang Zings do nothing going second. So 
It's like a decent car, uh, deck. Um, what else is like kind of roguish? Drytron is just like another combo deck, same thing, but it's a little bit better because you have something like Zeus. Uh, but it does lose to stuff like Bestials, Arise Hearts, etc., etc. So, Drytron just not really great. Um, Trap Tricks is just like a worse version of like Labyrinth, Dynamorph. It's like the worst trap deck of the format. Like, I, I just don't know what to say, but it's still really solid. It's still really solid. Uh, Satara Nice is like a combo deck, like a mid range uh, combo deck, which is like the same as like Tribrid Sprite. You can play a lot of uh, going second cards. You could, you know, it has like one to two card combos. Like, it's just pretty decent at best. Um, PK is just another deck, same thing. You can play a lot of hand traps, going second. Um, has one card combos. It, it sets up like a really decent board, but it's like very breakable. It's just like not great. It, it's like the same thing as all of these three decks. They're just like, they set up a board. They can play a lot of hand traps, but the board is just like not that great. And they can't play a significant amount of hand traps, something like, you know, Math Mech or Marine Cess, where they can play 15, 18 hand traps. So it's just like, this is not that great. It's just like average at best. Um, Runic Stun, uh, same thing. If you don't respect this deck, kind of lose to it which is like the strength of this deck um Lyraless Tri Brigade is same thing it's even worse it's like kind of bad like the deck just needs some more that's honestly what I I, I, I think the, the problem is. is like this deck needs some more to summon apex and then have all your cards just not be targeted by card effects like that, that's what they really need um Dark World, another combo deck. It's just like if you go first, you win. If you go second, you kind of lose unless like you draw like Lava Glum or you know Dark World or something like that. Like it, it's just not great. Um, more combo decks. Adamantipator, uh, Rocks is like pretty decent as well as Adamantipator. Uh, well, Super Heavy Samurai, Adamantipator, and then Super Heavy Samurai Draco Slayers. I think they're really solid decks, but. Uh, Shangri La just kind of goes crazy against the Draco Slayer build because, like, you just lock one of their, you know, spawn chop card zones or pendulum zones and they just kind of lose. And then for the rock build, the rock build, it's just kind of weird. Like, sometimes you just draw, like, Wakashi and, like, rock, uh, like, two rock names, like, Researcher or Seeker. Sometimes you just draw Adam Anspator cards and, like, the Adam Anspator cards. It's just not good. So the, the main problem is just overall just if you just draw only the rock part, it's like really bad. But if you draw like the super heavy samurai uh, part of the deck, it's like really good. And like a combination of both is obviously insane. Like you're, you're playing through a lot. But like overall, it's just like kind of mid. Honestly, this is like the bottom of tier three. Uh, both of these decks. Uh, what else is here? The top of tier three, I think, is purely and striker. I think these both are like going second decks that could be very strong, just depending on how good the uh, turn one boards of the tier two and the tier one decks are. Because like talents goes crazy, thrust goes crazy, dark ruler, all these going second cards, and then you have like the purely cards, like the happiness OTKs. You have um, the linkage OTKs. You have like afterburners, widow anchor that can like break through boards. Like both of these decks just do the same thing, uh, like very differently though. I think purely is like a little bit better because it has some, like noir that's like a really solid win condition. Uh, Striker doesn't really have like a pretty solid win condition, but it does have multi roll because like, multi roll is like insane. Like if you draw that card, you activate it, it resolves, then like all your spell cards go through, and then. Don't like thrust into uh, engage and then you get another engage that's like in crazy so the deck can be really strong it's just like it, it just honestly depends on how good going second is uh another like tier three deck is uh flunderies i think this deck is like really solid it just honestly depends on like what people are playing again like if people are playing droll this, like, this deck loses the droll if people are playing like ash imperm valor uh all this other stuff it did um get a buff because gamma's not in the format anymore and then a lot of people are just not playing that many hand traps anymore so it just honestly depends and it also depends on if people are playing stuff like cosmic because cosmic is really good against runic cards so like cosmic is really good against a trap card like if they're playing twin twister that could be pretty good if they respect stuff like eldritch and you know um uh Dynamorphia, i think yeah i think yeah twin twister is gonna Dynamorphia is like really solid so like all these decks kind of like fall under the same category 
So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what else is tier 3? Let's just move on to the tier 2 decks. I think Labyrinth, obviously, is going to be a very solid tier 2 deck. Uh, right below the tier 1 decks. Same thing with Branded. I think both of these decks are, like, really solid. The problem with these decks is that um, Ash Blossom is really strong against both of these decks. To stop Big Welcome, it stops Branded Fusion. Um, and then Bell stops stuff like Branded in Red. It stops Big Welcome as well. Uh, you have the Bestials, which stop the Furnitures, and, you know, stuff like Branded in Red. You know, just a bunch of stuff in Branded. So, um, it just overall depends on, like, how much people are giving hate to these decks. Otherwise, these decks can pretty much thrive. Um, let's see. Tier Limits is, like, a tier, like... It's like tier 3, but it, it, it's just so weird. Because this deck tops like every single event ever since like the deck got murdered. And I just don't understand why. I think it's just like a really solid like combo deck. It's kind of like Dark Worlds, but like probably better because the tier limit card is just insane. It just honestly depends on like how many cast terror you play against. Like if you go like second, can you like break through their board? Do you, can you play like... A decent amount of going second cards like talents and stuff like that to like break your opponent's board or like get rid of their rise heart uh it just honestly de depends on that but that's something that's that is going to be pretty good because it just topped every single event after it got like murdered so i i guess it's still going to be good i guess um let's move on to like the hand trap decks these are like the decks that like play a good amount of hand traps and can just like destroy you like or like plays a decent amount of going second cards to where they could just destroy you like in this order like i think um sword soul tenny is just like the staple like bread and butter like i'm going back to normal summon mo yi i'm playing all these going second cards i'm playing these hand traps i'm playing these books i'm playing these uh dark rulers i'm playing these talents and then same thing with marine sets i'm playing like 15 18 hand traps uh same with math mag i'm playing 15 ac hand traps i have circular you know all these ways to get the circular uh, Bank of Souls, I have, like, you know, Normal Summon this guy, uh, the, the Fire guy, and then, you know, Search for Burger, Burger, you know, draws, draw, 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 draw every turn, get to Hand Traps, get to stuff like Fenrir and stuff like that, those, those cards are, like, really powerful, so, um, overall, all these decks, like, are pretty well, they're, like, pretty average mid-range decks, so, I think they're gonna be really solid, um, let's move on to, like, the top of, like, Tier 2, let's see, uh, Sprite, Melfi, it's like okay ish. I don't think it's terrible. It's just like not great. I'm gonna put it at like the top of tier two, uh, tier three, because I think Sprite Melfi is still like a really solid deck. I think it's like a little bit better than stuff like Purely and Sky Strikers and all these other decks that rely on like the meta to like be really good for them. But I just don't think the deck is like that great. I don't think it's like too insane. Same thing with like this deck, this Yang Zeng. Like sword soul deck people are trying i just think it's like worse 10 ye sword soul so like just don't play it um gold pride uh punk i think this deck is like really solid i think it's like a little worse than like sun avalon Rika, but uh if you draw like really good hands like if you have the punks you have the uh the gold prides like mixed together like you normal summon ziamen or special summon ziamen with e-telly then you just like bait out hand traps go into gold pride cards set the trap um set up the the gold pride monsters going to roller baller into the pin and stuff like that it could be really solid but like the problem is is if you just don't draw the punk cards like you are crying because you need the punk cards to get to your gold pride stuff or like you need the gold pride or the punk cards to like start you off to bait through hand traps and then the gold pride plays through hand traps very well so i just think that this deck is it could be really good it could definitely be, be really good it just depends on like how many people are running stuff like droll because droll can be really detrimental as well uh gamma is like a big thing that like made this deck like a lot better but it just honestly depends on like what people uh develop in the meta for gold pride punk because i think this deck is still it can play through a lot of hand traps it can set up a really good decent board it just honestly depends um dragon link bestial i think this is another deck that where uh it just depends on the meta and like how people develop this deck because right now i don't think it's like tier one potential 
but it's definitely tier two because the best duels are just obviously very insane. Magnemut is still at three. You still have Druid's Worm. Uh, you still have Lubellion at three. Uh, the Dragonlink cards are just really good at playing through hand traps and stuff like that. But I feel like the board is like kind of weak. And uh, again, like you have counter cards, like the best duels do work well against, you know, Dragonlink as well. Uh, you hand trap sometimes and then you just pass turn and it, it just honestly depends. You sometimes get weak hands, you draw breaks like the Bestial Trap, you draw like Boot Sector Launch, and sometimes you just don't draw a play. So like that can be very powerful, but just sometimes it just kind of seems underwhelming as well. Uh, the Floodgate Labyrinth build I feel like is the worst build of Labyrinth, but I still think it's really solid. It just depends on like what the meta shapes up to be. Sometimes you're like, oh, the furniture cards are being countered with like stuff like bestials. Maybe I'm just gonna replace the furnitures with floodgates. And then, you know, maybe people are just like respecting floodgates more. They're playing like lightning storm and cosmic and twin twister. You can go back to uh, the furniture build. So it honestly, it just honestly depends on like the meta show, I think. Uh, but both the builds are like pretty good. I think the furniture build is probably gonna start off to be like the more popular build because a lot of people are on it and then people might switch to the floodgate build or like the secret build I think is that is really good. I think it's better than probably both of the builds. So it just depends. Uh, I th still think Labyrinth is definitely tier two. I don't think it's tier one. I think it's just not good enough because stuff like Ash is just really powerful against the deck. Uh, Adventurer, um, Plunder and Runic Plunder. I think Runic Plunder is definitely like a really solid deck. I think it's just like at the top of like tier two or like the mid of uh, tier two because like the plunder cards just work very very well with the uh, the runic cards like plunder runic is just very powerful they're just both decks that just they like grind out the game very well and can just overwhelm your opponent with like card advantage so I think this deck is really solid I just don't know how great it is I, I haven't played this deck much but I I've definitely seen uh, a lot of good things with this deck. The adventure build is like kind of worse. I think it's like kind of like at like tier three, I guess, something like this. Uh, it's pretty decent. I just think the the runic build is just better. And then uh, the sprite adventure build. This is like the same thing with like the uh, Melfi build. It's like all right, but the board is just not great. Like it's just like a very average board. Uh, but it is really decent going second. I will say that, like, uh, the adventure cards are, like, a little bit better versus something like a Rise Heart Pass, which is, like, uh, really solid. And then we have our Tier 1 decks. Obviously, uh, Cast Tier is going to be Tier 1. Live Twin Sprite Runic, and then uh, the Fur Hire uh, Runic Sprite build is going to be, like, Tier 1. I think these are, like, overall uh, the best decks. I think Cast Tier just, like Fenrir is just like a really powerful card. Unicorn is still like one of the most insane uh, one card combos. You still have stuff like Shifter and like all these other going second cards. Like it's it's like better like Sword Soul Tenny or Marine Says or uh, Math Mech or Vanquish Souls. It just has like a really solid combo. It has a Floodgate and a Rise Heart. It has a lot of utility in the extra deck with stuff like you have, you have the Goliath to stop you from being uh, destroyed. You have stuff like um, big eye being able to steal stuff you have draco's act to get rid of floodgates like you just have a lot of utility and extra deck and in the main deck and the the engine is utility because like fenrir can get rid of floodgates get rid of like these problematic cards uh you have unicorn to rip steal you have like birth to you know banish from the graveyard and be like a really problematic card because like every turn you just summon 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 so like uh Castero is just insane and then live turn sprite runic like this deck is just, it's just crazy it has a lot of one card starters you have the runic cards you have the sprite cards sprite blue is just super insane uh like with like live twin cards runic obviously really well with like stuff like sprite in the uh live twin cards so like overall like the this is like the best build just because it just plays to a lot it breaks boards it has like a lot it, like it just doesn't lose to like one singular thing i can't really t tell you like what this like it just like if you get cosmic oh well like you have the live twin and the sprite stuff to like uh keep you there you get dark with it you have the the runic cards like you just have a lot of 
versatility in what your disruptions are. Same thing with like the runic for high stuff. Like you draw like a whole bunch of cards, you still have like you, you know, if you get dark rulered or like whatever, like you get dark um dark hold or Raigeki, you still have the sprite cards or not the sprite cards, the uh the runic cards or you get like cosmic again you have the friar cards to you know summon pop draw three and you have the sprite cards and the gate stuff and stuff like that like i feel like th these three decks just don't have many counters or like even if they have counters they can build their deck to beat those counters so i definitely think these overall are the best decks of the format these are like the following like three to four to five uh, best of the format and then the rest are like kind of like counter picks to like the top two decks and or like rogue decks that like people just love to play for fun or like these decks which are like kind of bad i would say so that is it guys let me know what you guys think about this tier list is it right is it wrong did i miss any decks just let me know in the comment section below so that is it guys let me know what you guys think i am out